Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be downloading the FileZilla client and we're gonna be using that to connect to a FileZilla FTP server. So I've got a FileZilla FTP server running locally and we're gonna be connecting to that. I've also got a few websites that are hosted by different hosting providers and they all allow SFTP access. So we're gonna be using the client to connect to those too. So first I'm gonna go ahead and download the client and we're gonna get the client for Windows because this is gonna be set up on Windows 10. We're gonna get the free version and we're gonna keep and just let this install. So it's an 11 meg download, which isn't very big, but for some reason it's going pretty slow. So I think their servers are kind of slow, but it's free so I can understand the slower servers. So once this finishes, we'll run through the install process and get everything set up. All right, so the install finished and we're gonna go ahead and run that. Agree to their license agreement. Decline the Avast thing. We're going to agree to that. We're going to say anyone on this computer can use it. Then we're going to choose the standard components. I don't need a desktop icon. I'm just going to pin it down here to my start menu. And then we're going to let it install to the default place. Uh, it's 41 megs, which is really small. Then we're going to click install. And it's just going to dump the files where they need to go. Then we're going to actually click finish to start FileZilla. And then we're here. So once we're here, I'm gonna check the configurations that I have for my local server that I'm running. So I have it listening on port 21, which is the default port, and I've got a user named LightSpy that doesn't require a password. So I'm gonna come over here to the server button, and it remembers all of my configurations from before, but you would click new site, and we're just gonna call it test. So then over here, we're gonna say it's on my local host, so it's 127.0.0.1. This will be the IP address of the server you're trying to connect to. And then you can leave this blank for port 21, but I'm just gonna go ahead and type in port 21. And we're gonna use FTP over TLS if available. That's fine, but it's really gonna be plain FTP. So then we're just gonna use LightSpy and we're not gonna give it a password because it doesn't have a password. And we're gonna click OK. And what OK did was it actually just saved this. So now we're gonna click Connect and we're gonna okay this certificate. And from here, we can actually see the folder that's been shared. So this wow folder has been shared here. So we can see that and we can see the files inside of it. And now we're connected to that server. So I'm gonna disconnect from this local server and connect to a remote server. So for example, this website here, I can connect with SFTP and then I just give it the host name and then my username and password. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click connect and that gives me access to the Linux box that's actually running that website. And from here I can navigate around the box just as usual. So that's really it when it comes to downloading and installing FileZilla and then using it to connect to an FTP server and downloading files. Uh, if you wanna download a file, just drag it over and that's it. You can navigate C slash test and then you can drop the stuff in the test folder. So that's it, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'd love to answer them, and I'll see you in the next one.